After years of waiting, Google has finally released its first ever smartwatch, the Pixel Watch. And in the words of Lizzo, it's about damn time. But was it worth the wait, or does the Pixel Watch fumble like most first-gen products? I'm Harley Moreno with Android Authority, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Google Pixel Watch. Now we've known what the Pixel Watch was gonna look like for years now, and now that it's here, it's safe to say that the watch looks great. It sports a very modern, very sleek design, featuring a traditional round watch face and stainless steel construction. The watch comes in a variety of case and band color combinations, but I'm particularly drawn to the champagne gold case and hazel colored band combination. The watch itself measures in at 41 millimeters, which is definitely smaller than what I'm used to, and is more on the petite side compared to other watches on the market. Unfortunately, Google doesn't offer a larger size like Apple or Samsung does with its wearables. However, after using the watch for some time, I didn't really end up missing a bigger sized watch. On the side of the watch, you have a digital crown, which has a satisfying feel when scrolling and makes it a breeze to navigate Wear OS. Beside the crown, you will find a back button, which I and my fellow reviewer Caitlin found to be a little hard to reach during testing, especially since the button sits flush with the side of the case. The bands on the Pixel Watch are, of course, replaceable. However, the mechanism used to hold and swap the straps can be a little frustrating to deal with, especially if you have sausage fingers like me. Plus, the bands are proprietary, meaning that if you want to buy additional bands, you will have to buy the ones designed specifically for the Pixel Watch. But once you've sorted all of that out and finally put the watch on your wrist, you'll find the watch to be lightweight and comfortable. At the center of the watch is the display, which is very sharp and gets plenty bright. And thanks to the AMOLED panel, True Blacks help blend the UI with the bezels, which is great since the bezels on the Pixel Watch are quite big. And this is just one of those quirks that make this product feel very first gen. More on that later. The display on the watch is protected by Gorilla Glass 5, and I didn't really find myself in situations that would seriously scratch or nick the watch, and neither did my colleague. The watch seems to stand up to normal day-to-day -day bumps just fine. Also, you do have the option to have the display always on. However, I'd advise against this in order to save on battery life. And why is that? Well, it's because the battery life on the Pixel Watch is not good. According to Google, the watch should last you up to 24 hours. And to that I say, they're right, but just barely. In the first few days, it seemed like the watch was just chugging through the battery. But after it had started to learn my usage patterns, and after going through all the updates and customization, the battery life started to stabilize, and I usually made it to the end of the day with around 15 to 20% to spare. But here's the problem. That 15 to 20% is not enough to take advantage of the watch's powerful sleep tracking capabilities, since the device will be dead by the time you wake up. That being said, if you want to use the watch for sleep tracking, you're gonna need to charge the watch at least twice a day. Fortunately, the watch doesn't take too long to charge and can get you from zero to 100% in just 90 minutes. You know what else doesn't take too long? Hitting the subscribe button and letting us know in the comments what video you wanna see next. But anyway, back to the watch. As a smartwatch, the Pixel Watch functions pretty well. In fact, its smartwatch functionality is actually what differentiates the Pixel Watch from just any other Fitbit. Wear OS 3.5 runs smooth on the watch as you'd expect, and the interface is really intuitive and easy to navigate. From the watch face, you can swipe down to access quick settings, swipe up to reveal notifications, and then swiping left or right allows you to navigate between different tiles that display a variety of data and can be customized in the watch app. You can also access the app drawer on your watch by pressing once on the crown. Holding down the back button summons the Google Assistant, which is really nice to have considering that the feature is missing from more recent Fitbits like the Sense 2 and Versa 4. Although personally, my favorite feature is being able to quickly pay for things with Google Wallet using my smartwatch, which is accessible by double pressing on the crown. The watch does support turn-by-turn -turn navigation via Google Maps, which can be handy for some. However, I couldn't really use it since it doesn't support directions for transit, which is a real drawback. Now, while it's nice to have access to at-a-glance info on my wrist, I wish that Google would implement more features to make using a Pixel watch with a Pixel phone more seamless. For example, wouldn't it be nice if your Pixel phone automatically unlocked the watch instead of having to enter a passcode for each device? 
Also, when I turn on Do Not Disturb on the watch, why doesn't it turn on Do Not Disturb on my phone? It's worth noting that Apple and Samsung have both implemented these features on their smartphones and wearables. That being said, if Google really wants to create a competitive device ecosystem, then it can't forget about these details. But hey, the Pixel Watch is a first-gen product, so hopefully the folks at Google are taking notes for round two. Of course, the Pixel Watch is not just a smartwatch. It is a smartwatch with Fitbit, as printed on the box. So that begs the question, how does the Pixel Watch perform as a fitness tracker? Well, we're going to answer that question right after we talk about our sponsor, CuriosityStream. CuriosityStream is a streaming and on-demand service where viewers of all ages can fuel their passions and explore new ones. Get access to thousands of top quality documentaries, TV shows, and other non-fiction titles, all for the low price of $19.99 per year. Watch anywhere, anytime with instant access to award-winning exclusives and original series. With CuriosityStream, you can learn everything from ancient history to space exploration from the comfort of your own home or while you're on the go. With so many titles to choose from covering society, technology, nature, science, and lifestyle, you're bound to find whole new subjects to get curious about. Click the link in the description for a full year of CuriosityStream for less than some people pay every month for other streaming services. Now, as a fitness tracker, the Pixel Watch is quite basic with the star of the show being the always-on optical heart rate sensor. From our testing, we found it to be quite reliable and on par with other wearables on the market. Thanks to the Fitbit integration, you also have the ability to take an ECG. All you have to do is launch the app, follow the prompts, stay seated, and rest one finger on the digital crown for 30 seconds. While the heart rate sensor is good for the most part, it does have some quirks. For starters, when I see that the heart rate sensor is always on, I mean always, as in there is no way to turn off the heart sensor, even when you don't need it. And on top of that, the heart rate sensor will not stop even if you take off the watch and place it on the counter, which is a waste of power. And the only way to get it to stop is by putting the watch on charge. Also, the Pixel Watch doesn't offer high-low heart rate notifications. Now, sure, the Pixel Watch isn't exactly a certified medical device. However, the lack of these notifications makes you wonder if the Pixel Watch is actually the right watch for keeping tabs on your heart health. Now, beyond the heart rate sensor, the GPS on the Pixel Watch is passable, though not at the level of wearables from Apple or Garmin. Looking at this map of my colleague's neighborhood run, she noticed that the Pixel Watch was able to trace her route fairly accurately. However, there are instances where the route was slightly off, enough to run through some people's backyards or show her on the wrong side of the road. The Pixel Watch also allows you to log exercise and manage your fitness stats with the Fitbit Exercise app. The app comes with 40 different workouts ranging from traditional running to more niche activities like canoeing. And while 40 may seem like a lot, it is worth noting that there are other smartwatches with far more workout types and sport modes to choose from, such as the budget-friendly Xiaomi Mi Band 7. The watch also lacks automatic workout detection, so be sure to set up your watch before beginning your workout. The watch allows you to personalize the data displayed to you while you're performing your workout, although the default interface should be sufficient for most people. The interface displays color-coded heart rate zones, which is a neat visual cue when you want to see your heart rate zone mid-workout. While Fitbit integration with the Pixel Watch is nice, it does come with one caveat, and that is Fitbit Premium. The monthly subscription service gives you access to a variety of additional features, which we'll list here up on the screen. However, this does mean you are coughing up an additional $10 a month on top of the $350 you already spent for the watch. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that Garmin and Withings already offer some of these features for free on its wearables. So it's a little bit of a salt in the wound, I must say. Thankfully though, the Pixel Watch does come with six months of Fitbit Premium membership out of the box. But back to the main point at hand, is the Google Pixel Watch a good fitness tracker? I'd say yes, if you're a more casual user. However, if you are looking for a fitness tracker that can provide you with a lot of training and recovery insights, you may be better suited with a dedicated fitness tracker from a different ecosystem, such as Garmin. But if you really want to stick to the Pixel Watch, and really want to tap into all of Fitbit's advanced tools, then be prepared to pay that extra $10 a month for the premium membership. So, is the Pixel Watch a good smartwatch? Well, 
My colleague Caitlin put it best. The Pixel Watch is like a film you can't wait to see because you really love the book. But even after watching all the teasers and trailers leading up to the release, you can't help but feel a little underwhelmed coming out of the theater. The truth is that Google's first smartwatch is fine, but it is not exempt from the fumbles that come with being a first-gen product. Its battery life is below par, and although its fitness tracking is fine for casual users like me, it doesn't have the extensive data collection abilities that are found in more mature offerings from Apple, Samsung, Garmin, and even Fitbit. That is, unless you're willing to pay extra per month on top of the 350 US dollar price tag. But looking at the device purely as a smartwatch and not just as a fitness tracker, the Pixel Watch works well. It has a nice, simple design and the software is clean and intuitive. It is without a doubt a good companion to the new Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, and I honestly enjoyed my time using both devices. But if you ask me, I'd recommend that you just hold off until the second gen Pixel Watch comes around. I'm sure Google is taking notes, and I'm confident that the company will be able to create a sequel that brings the Pixel Watch to the level of the Apple Watch and Samsung Galaxy Watch. However, if you're someone who has waited a really long time for the Google Pixel Watch, and really can't wait any longer, then yeah, the Pixel Watch is more than serviceable. But I'm curious, what do you guys think of the Pixel Watch? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you gonna buy it? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, thanks again to CuriosityStream for sponsoring this video. I'm Harley Marano with Android Authority, and I'll see you in the next one.